I'd like to welcome you to St Peter's Church this morning for this short act of remembrance. In normal times, we would be holding this service at the War Memorial, and many of us would have gathered together to pay our respects to the fallen. But these are unfortunately not normal times. Despite this, we honour the war dead today as we have traditionally done, and we pray for peace for future generations. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. We meet in the presence of God. We commit ourselves to work in penitence and faith for reconciliation between the nations, that all people may together live in freedom, justice and peace. We pray for all who in bereavement, disability and pain continue to suffer the consequences of fighting and terror. We remember with thanksgiving and sorrow those whose lives in both world wars and conflicts past and present have been given and taken away. Let us confess to God the sins and shortcomings of the world, its pride, its selfishness, its greed, its evil divisions and hatreds. Let us confess our share in what is wrong and our failure to seek and establish that peace which God wills for his children. Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest of the mountains, and shall be raised up above the hills. People shall stream to it, and many nations shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between many peoples, and shall arbitrate between strong nations far away. They shall beat their swords into ploughshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. But they shall all sit under their own vines, and under their own fig trees. And no one shall make them afraid. For the mouth of the Lord of hosts has spoken. For all the peoples walk, each in the name of its God. But we will walk in the name of the Lord our God, for ever and ever. Here ends the first lesson.
What then are we to say about these things? If God is for us, who is against us? He who did not withhold his own son, but gave him up for all of us, will he not with him also give us everything else? Who will bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is to condemn? It is Christ Jesus who died, yes, who was raised, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship or distress or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword. As it is written, For your sake we are being killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Here ends the second lesson. Let us pray for all who suffer as a result of conflict and ask that God may give us peace. For the service men and women who have died in the violence of war, each one remembered by and known to God, may God give peace. God, God give peace. peace. For those who love them in death as in life, offering the distress of our grief and the sadness of our loss, may God give peace. God, God give, give peace. peace. For all members of the armed forces who are in danger this day, remembering family, friends and all who pray for their safe return, May God give peace. God, God give, give peace. peace. For civilian women, children and men, whose lives are disfigured by war or terror, calling to mind in penitence the anger and hatreds of humanity, may God give peace. God, God give, give peace. peace. For peacemakers and peacekeepers, who seek to keep this world secure and free, may God give peace. God, God give peace. peace. For all who bear the burden and privilege of leadership, political, military and religious, asking for gifts of wisdom and resolve in the search for reconciliation and peace, may God give peace. God, God give peace. peace. O God of truth and justice, we hold before you those whose memory we cherish and those whose names we will never know. Help us to lift our eyes above the torment of this broken world and grant us the grace to pray for those who wish us harm. As we honour the past, May we put our faith in your future, for you are the source of life and hope, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who Lord art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us remember before God and commend to his safekeeping those who have died for their country in war, those whom we knew and whose memory we treasure, and all who have lived and died in the service of the peoples of the world. R. J. Banks J. Emsel R. Harmon C. Langfield J. M. Nussi G. Robinson C. W. Stennett H. Sutton W. Chalkley B. Croft J. Joyner F. W. Loft A. Mitchell W. Mitchell W. Wild J. Melson H. Bellin F. W. Lightowler J. Margison H. Osborne S. Ward G. Margison, A. Brown, N. Coatsworth. They shall grow, not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor their years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We, we will, will remember, remember them. Uh...
ever living God. We remember those whom you have gathered from the storm of war into the peace of your presence. May that same peace calm our fears, bring justice to all peoples, and establish harmony among the nations. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. When you go home, tell them of us and say, For your tomorrow we gave our today. Let us pledge ourselves anew to the service of God and our fellow men and women, that we may help, encourage and comfort others and support those working for the relief of the needy and for the peace and welfare of the nations. Lord God our Father, we pledge ourselves to serve you and all humanity in the cause of peace, for the relief of want and suffering, and for the praise of your name. Guide us by your Spirit, Give, give us wisdom, give, give us courage, give, give us hope, and keep us faithful now and always. Amen. Almighty God, stretch forth your mighty arm to strengthen and protect the armed forces. Grant that meeting danger with courage and all occasions with discipline and loyalty, they may truly serve the cause of justice and peace, to the honour of your holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. God grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the church, the queen, the Commonwealth and all people, unity, peace and concord, and to us and all God's servants, life everlasting. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.